Are you having trouble linking Scrivener and iOS to your Dropbox account? In this video, you'll learn how to quickly link Dropbox to Scrivener on iOS in four simple steps. This video assumes you've already created a Dropbox account and installed Dropbox on your Mac. If you haven't done this, be sure to watch my video, Link Dropbox to Scrivener for Mac OS. Step 1. Link your Dropbox account. Open Scrivener on iOS. Tap the sync icon. Tap Link Dropbox. Keep in mind that things will look a little different on an iPhone, but the process is the same. Now if you don't have Dropbox installed, then the sign-in form will appear inside Scrivener. I've gone ahead and signed in with my Gmail account. You can sign in with an existing username and password as well. Once logged in, tap Allow to give Scrivener access to the files and folders in your Dropbox account. Alternatively, if the Dropbox app is installed on your iOS device, when you tap Sync, Scrivener will open the Dropbox app and you will be asked to grant Scrivener access to the files and folders in your Dropbox account. You'll notice this option is a little faster. Step 2. Designate your Dropbox folder. Immediately after granting Scrivener access to Dropbox, a Dropbox setting menu will appear to designate the Scrivener project folder in Dropbox. I recommend that you keep your project's default selection, Apps Scrivener. Regardless of whether you select a default or a different folder in Dropbox, remember that Scrivener on iOS can only sync to a single folder at a time. Only projects stored inside this folder will be synced to Scrivener on iOS. Tap Done to designate that folder directory, and Scrivener will begin downloading your projects onto your iOS device, if you have them saved in Dropbox. Step 3. Create a new project. If you already have projects in Dropbox, then you can skip this step. To do this, tap the plus button at the top of the screen. Enter in a title for the new project and tap Create. Choose Dropbox as the location to save. If you select On My iPad, the project will not be uploaded to Dropbox unless you move that project to your Dropbox folder. You may be prompted to sync changes on Open and Close. I recommend you select Yes, but there will be more on that in Step 4. The new project opens automatically. Tap Projects in the upper left to return to the project screen. If Scrivener doesn't sync automatically on Project Close, tap the sync icon. Step 4. Set up Scrivener to sync on Open and Close. Remember this setting? If you selected Yes, then this function tells Scrivener to sync every time that the Scrivener app is open and when the project is closed properly. Keep in mind, that you cannot close the app and expect Scrivener to sync. That doesn't actually close the project. To close your project, you must exit to the project screen and Scrivener will automatically sync to Dropbox. This setting helps prevent sync conflicts, but can be irritating if your projects are especially large or your internet connection is slow, as this can lead to long sync times and interrupt your writing workflow. If you'd like to turn this setting on or off, go to Settings, Scrivener, Syncing and Sharing. Tap Sync Projects on Close or Rename and check Dropbox on Open. Both selections will give you three options. Never, Wi-Fi Only, or Always. Never means that Scrivener will not sync automatically and you must manually tap the Sync button. I don't recommend this option as it can lead to sync conflicts and data loss if you fail to sync regularly. Wi-Fi only means that Scrivener will only sync when connected to Wi-Fi. Always means if your device has a cellular connection, you are giving Scrivener permission to use cellular data to upload and download changes to your projects. Most of us will want to stick with Wi-Fi only. Regardless, tap the option that suits your needs. Coming up next, we'll be discussing how to troubleshoot Scrivener sync issues, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep getting great content on improving your writing workflow. If there are any other features of Scrivener or any other writing software you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. This is Outfox, signing out.